Hey friends, Pastor David here with this week's Midweek Minute. So we're right in the middle of a series called Battlefield. We're talking about um, this power of evil that is at work in the world that intends to keep us from becoming everything that God wants us to be as people and certainly as a church. We've done a couple of weeks on this now. In the first week we talked about enemy identification, that before you really engage in a battle of any kind, you really need to be clear about who the enemy is, because once you are, then you're able to form the battle plan itself. And this past week, um, we, we talked a little bit about, again, from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, we talked about the gear that God has given us to engage the battle. And because the battle is supernatural, then we have to fight the battle in that place, in our hearts and in our spirits. And Paul gives us some images that come from the Roman soldier's uniform of his day, the importance of a breastplate that, that guards our heart, the importance of, of a belt that holds the uniform together, uh, the importance of footwear that carries with it the gospel of peace, uh, the importance of the helmet of salvation and, and the sword of the Spirit and the shield of faith. You can read those images in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. What we talked about this week was imagine, imagine the importance of having the right gear for the right set of circumstances. We had a little fun, you know, we talked a little bit about imagine trying to play football in ballerina slippers. You know, that just doesn't work. Um, so the importance of the right gear for the right set of circumstances. And when we're battling evil in the spirit, we have to make sure we have the right gear. And that's what, if, that's what this armor of God is all about. And we kind of concluded the conversation this week with these images. Paul says to put that armor on. And the image is to clothe yourself. We do that every day, right? And my challenge to us was to think about that when we are clothing ourselves, when we put a shirt on that covers our chest. Jesus, guard my heart today. When we button that shirt in some way or put a belt on of some way, Jesus, hold me together today by your truth when we put footwear on of some kind, remember that when we go anywhere, we carry with us the peace that God has made between us and Him and between people and people. We comb our hair. Remind, Jesus, remind me of, of, of setting my mind on you. Help me fix my eyes on you. It's cold, so if a vest on today, Protect me, Jesus, just like that shield of faith protects the soldier. Protect me today from the negativity that comes my way. And of course, in today's world, no wardrobe is complete without the phone, right? So, Lord Jesus, help me listen to you. Help me speak your word today. Hope maybe you're practicing that in the way that you clothe yourself. It's an opportunity to make sure that the battle gear that you need to fight this, the spiritual battles are present. So we've talked about enemy identification. We've talked about the gear that God provides us this coming weekend. We're gonna talk about how all of that comes together in the plan. How do we actually engage in the battle? So I hope that you can be with us either online in one of our campuses or certainly in person in one of our worship services. I pray you have a wonderful week. And as always, remember, keep looking up and I'll see you later.